This piece is entitled Grace and Lent. Lent, the time we are in right now, this self-reflecting time to fix our wrongs and do the right thing for Christ, like the fasting from the meat and sweets galore, praying more, giving to the poor, and acknowledging the grace of God. As a youth, I wasn't really aware of the connection between Lent and grace, but I don't think I knew what grace is. Well, now I know it's God's undeserving favor towards us. It said perfectly in Exodus 34 verse 6, The Lord, the Lord, the gracious and compassionate God, slow to anger, abounding in love and faithfulness. He doesn't punish us right away, but if you neglect his grace, you might not be saved. Let's take a look at the prodigal son as an example of how Lent and grace can be explained. Repentance is a change of mind. When the son finds himself in his foolish choice of life, he gets up, sets himself, his, sets himself in line, and makes his way back home. Go through your life with a fine tooth comb and be aware of the sins you've done and shown. Then, repent and grow. God's grace exceeds our sin. When the son comes home, he is embraced by his father. Him, leaving all the wrong his son did, welcomes and accepts him. This describes exactly what God is. Despite where we fall short, we are showered in unmerited love and forgiveness. The last point is, with grace, we don't need to run anymore. After the son sees his actions, he feels safe. I could go on and on about, his, uh, about how this story is the perfect example of grace, but let's see if you could pick up on it. Salvation and grace go hand in hand, and at the end of these 40 days is when we are saved. He died for us, our sins. Think about that for a second. Someone dying for you, for you to have everlasting sin-free life. Well, boy, that can make a grown man cry. So during this time, don't neglect the grace of God and turn a blind eye to his favor.